Good morning, everyone, and welcome to today's focus for Friday, May the 26th, 2023, at 10.55 a.m. Central Time. Today's focus, backsliding. Today's focus is backsliding, and this is going to be one of those episodes where I'm not going to do pretty much any of the work i'm going to hand it to you but before we before i we talk about backsliding before i tell you what i want you to do before i give you your assignments before i give you all of your homework let me remind you that well the summer of 2023 We are going to be studying the book of Jeremiah and the book of Lamentations. We'll be doing that for the Bible study exercise podcast series. All right. The book of Jeremiah and the book of Lamentations. We've got a reading plan out there. You can, if you look up the the series, Bible study exercise series on the Church One app or the Sermons 2.0 app, look for the uh, summer reading plan PDF. Uh, You'll see the episode and attached to it is the reading plan for the book of Jeremiah and the book of Lamentations. We are going to dig into the book. We're going to spend three months on it. We're going to do lots of different things. Hopefully it's going to be very beneficial. But I, late last night, I did a live broadcast and I really emphasized what I want the focus really to be for our three months in the book of Jeremiah. Yes, I want to learn it. Yes, I want to understand it. Yes, when it's all said and done, I want to be able to say, I know the book of Jeremiah better than when we started. Yes, we'll deal with, with maybe textual issues and theological issues and, and, you know, all the different things that we're going to run into in the book of Jeremiah. Obviously, we're going to cover it in three months, so we're not going to be able to do maybe a, a complete verse by verse, but I think it's going to be fun. I think it's going to be in depth. I think it's going to be beneficial. However, my concern is, is that we're going to approach it like an academic pursuit, right? We're going to master the book. And I don't want to approach it that way. I want us to look to the book of Jeremiah and I want us to be asking questions about where are we spiritually as an individual and then hopefully be challenged. And hopefully through our study of the book of Jeremiah, we will grow spiritually. We will be challenged. We will be convicted. And that we will be, at the end of the three months, not only will we know more, but we'll be in a better place spiritually than when we started. I mean, I know this is, it's Friday, it's Memorial Day weekend. Uh, the summer is about to begin. And I know we're going to get distracted and we're going to have a million things going on. But I hope somewhere during that, that, that three month period this summer, you will, you will focus in on the book of Jeremiah. You will read it. You will participate. Uh, even if you don't do any of the homework that you may be given, if you will at least just read the book and maybe listen to all the things that we post, hopefully you will still benefit greatly from it. But I just want it to be spiritually beneficial. So we're going to be doing that for the Bible study exercise podcast series. And there'll be plenty of times there's going to be overlap, right? Here for today's focus, there's going to be times I'm going to grab things from the book of Jeremiah and say, today, I want you to focus on this. Even if you're not participating in the actual study of the book of Jeremiah, you're going to be hearing about it here. So you're going to be hearing about Jeremiah probably here a lot. And you're going to be hearing about it on the Bible study exercise. Sometimes there'll be overlap. Sometimes you may go, well, we've already kind of talked about that. We'll talk about it again. We'll add to the conversation. There's just, you're going to hear a lot about Jeremiah in the book of Lamentations. All right. So just so that you have kind of an understanding of what we're doing, but I, I'm trying to get myself prepared for the study. I'm just, I'm thinking about it, meditating on it. And I started thinking, well, if I'm going to make this about growing spiritually, if I'm really like, I can't worry about what anyone else does, but if I'm going to really start thinking about it, what would be in the book of Jeremiah? Like, like if I just started thinking about the book that could possibly really address where someone is spiritually, right? Uh, it's an, it's, 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 yes, it's a topic that's very controversial. Yes, there's no agreement on it within Christianity, but it, but it really does speak to maybe where someone is spiritually. And I started thinking about it. And, and I came across this bit of information, all right? This bit of information. I thought it was interesting. The, one, the, if, if we look at the key words in the book of Jeremiah, one of the key words is the word backsliding. Backsliding is one of the key words in the book of Jeremiah. 
Someone points out that it occurs 13 times in the book of Jeremiah. I have not been able to verify that. I don't think the word backsliding occurs 13 times. I think maybe all the variations, backslide, backslider, backsliding, maybe then it shows up 13 times. The exact word backsliding, I think only shows up nine times, but I'm just going from memory. So you'll have to verify this. You're going to, obviously you're going to be doing a little bit of work on this today, but backsliding occurs 13 times. And I think it's used only four other times in the Old Testament. I think it's Proverbs one time and Hosea three times. So in other words, if, if you're going to learn about backsliding, you go to the book of Jeremiah. All right. So then I'm like, okay, now that not only obviously the, does that have uh, meaning in its historical context and the book of Jeremiah and to the people he's writing to, but how does the concept of backsliding relate to you and me, right? How does it relate? Now, if we look up the definition, if we look up the definition for backslide, right? Backslide. It means to relapse into bad ways or error, right? To relapse into bad ways or error. So it means if we look up, apply this, obviously it's going to have a very specific context in the book of Jeremiah, maybe to a nation, right? Maybe Judah, right, right. I mean, like, okay, Southern Kingdom, Northern Kingdom, like, we, 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 we can, you can definitely look at it in its context. Well, how does it relate to them? But if it was to relate to us, then as a Christian, if you relapse into something in bad ways or error, then that would be backsliding. Um, from another article about backsliding, this is how they define it. The word backslide in a Christian context implies movement away from Christ rather than toward him. So in its most simple form, most generic form, you in your Christian life, you are backsliding when you are have in your Christian life, in your spiritual life, you are moving away from Christ rather than toward him. Now, in what ways in your Christian life right now are you moving away from Christ instead of toward him? What ways? In your thought life, in your desires, in your emotions, in your feelings, in your actions? In what ways? Like, we need to identify that right now. And we, we, we can then parallel that possibly to the backsliders that Jeremiah is going to talk to and, and how he's going to refer to them as backsliders. Maybe we can see a little bit of ourselves in them and maybe then we can be challenged and maybe we we can well maybe by the end of the summer of 2023 when we finally close the book of lamentations and like that completes our study our three month study in Jeremiah and lamentations maybe we can say i feel now at the end of the summer that i'm moving more towards christ than i'm moving away from him a backslider is someone who is going the wrong way spiritually he is regressing rather than progressing so, I mean, it's simply you're going backwards. You're, you're moving on in your Christian life. And the next thing you know, you're just regressing. You're going backwards. You're moving away from Christ. It doesn't mean it has to be like some horrible sin. It could be, it could be something that's not even manifested itself externally, right? I think, I mean, I think this is an important concept. We backslide spiritually internally way before we ever do externally. Like we start moving away from Christ internally and our desires and our thoughts and our focus. And it, and it's just, it's, it's something that's happening inside. And, and sometimes we can't admit it inside. I mean, rarely do you come to church and say, Hey guys, I was just, I know it's prayer time. I need you guys to pray with me, pray for me because guess what? Inside right now, I'm moving away from Christ. I'm going the wrong direction because everybody like, oh, I wonder what he's doing. I wonder what he's doing. Oh, I bet he's doing this. Oh, I bet he's doing that. Like it, it, immediately everyone, instead of just going, you know, what? I don't need to know what's going on. We'll, we will pray for you. Like I, you always wish that you can be more open and honest within the Christian world. Sometimes you can't, but we can be moving away. And we, so I think this idea of backsliding. So here is my uh, challenge to you. All right. Here is my challenge. I want you to find every reference in the book of Jeremiah to backslide, backslider, backsliding. 
Um, and yeah, and any verses that may speak of backsliding, even if the word is not used. So you say, well, what do I do? Well, you can use a concordance, uh, the Blue Letter Bible app. You can uh, just type in the word backsliding and look for all the references just in the book of Jeremiah, right? Like I got the Blue Letter Bible app open right now. I'm just going to type in backsliding, backsliding. I'm going to do a search and it, it occurs, backsliding occurs in nine verses in the major prophets of the KJV. So it only occurs in nine verses. So I think there's got to be variations, but I want you to find every verse. Now, you can also look up a topical Bible, backsliding, and see if they point you to verses only in Jeremiah that may point or describe or show backsliding, even if it doesn't use the word. We want to find every verse that uses the term backslide, backslider, backsliding. And we want any verses in Jeremiah that would possibly indicate or demonstrate backsliding, even if the word is not used. So I want you to compile all of those verses. Then I want you to read all of those verses. And then guess what? I simply want you to... uh didn't just write out a kind of a brief description of what backsliding is according to the book of Jeremiah alone. All right. Now this gets into a never ending debate among some Christians. Well, a Christian can backslide, but they will only backslide so far and so long. Or if they do that, then they prove they were never a Christian. And it always turns into pr- trying to prove whether someone is saved or not saved. And, and that immediately begins to destroy the idea that my salvation is not based on whether I'm backsliding or not backsliding. It's based on the perfect finished work of Jesus Christ. But that's a whole different subject. Now, we will be doing probably a similar exercise or something similar to this when we get into the book of Jeremiah. So you may want to save your notes on this because then you can just use them when we get into the book of Jeremiah itself. All right. There will be overlap between the today's focus when we talk about Jeremiah and the Bible study exercise. There will be. But backsliding. All right. Like the first, the first verse, I think that talks about it, I think it's Jeremiah chapter three, verse six, Jeremiah three, six, the Lord uh, said also unto me in the days of Josiah, the King, hast thou seen that which backsliding Israel hath done? She is gone up every Upon every high mountain and under every green tree, and there hath played the harlot. So this is backsliding Israel. Now, when we say Israel, there is that referring to the northern kingdom or the southern kingdom. All right there, there you go. I mean, I'm, we're we're going to d- deal with some of those issues in the uh, Bible study exercise. But the most important thing is the backsliding is manifesting itself, but they go up upon every high mountain under every green tree and there hath played the harlot. Okay, what is going on there? They're the backsliding. To me, they are backsliders and it's manifested in them playing the harlot. How are they playing the harlot? What does it mean to go up upon every high mountain and under every every green tree. What were they doing on the mountains? What were they doing under the trees? How were they playing the harlot? Clearly, it's using very, very, very strong language to describe something that they were doing. Well, then you could say, hey, not only would that be backsliding for them, my backsliding would manifest. How, 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 what would backsliding look like in my life if once I figure out what it means to go up on these high mountains and, and under these green trees and play a harlot? So it, it would manifest in my life playing the harlot. Well, in what way? Is it talking about playing a physical harlot or a spiritual harlot? And what would be... What would, what would it mean to be a spiritual harlot? I, I want to work through all of these, but I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. Today's focus were, t- is supposed to be only 15 minutes long, and I'm right about to reach the 15-minute mark. So here, please, today, uh, this, this Memorial Day weekend, right? If you have time, grab a Bible, grab a concordance, gather every verse that mentions backslide, backslider, backsliding, and the book of Jeremiah alone. See if you can find any verses that would relate to backsliding or demonstrate backsliding, even if the verse is not used. You may need to use a topical Bible for that. See if they point to anything in Jeremiah. You may not find anything, 
read all of these verses and then just write out a basic summary. This is what backsliding is in the book of Jeremiah. The backs- You can identify who the backsliders are. Who is the backsliders in Jeremiah? Are there is just one group of people, multiple people? Is it the northern kingdom, the southern kingdom? Who's being referenced? Okay, here are the backsliders. This is what demonstrated th- that these actions demonstrated that they were backsliders, right? Because backsliding is you're just moving away from God. You, people cannot may not be able to see it at first. It will manifest itself because if you look here at Jeremiah 3, 6, the Lord said also unto me uh, in the days of Josiah, Hast thou, hast thou seen that which backsliding Israel hath done? See, they're already backsliding. They're already backsliders. Now the backsliding is manifesting itself. So backsliding to me is a departure, a moving away from God internally that manifests itself externally at some point. So go, 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 go. What are you doing here? Go, go work on it. And I would love for you, if you would like to participate, uh, you know, for today's focus, it's not as important as when we do the Bible study exercises, but, uh, you know, email me news, I F at yahoo.com news, I F at yahoo.com. That's news. I F at yahoo.com. I just want to see what you do with backsliding. Don't don't look any other places where because the summer it's Jeremiah Lamentations. That's what we're going to focus on. So that's what we're going to focus on. All right, we're not going to be able to cover everything. I know that, but we will. We're going to make the most out of it, right? And I and I'm looking for spiritual benefit. I'm looking. I'm looking to see. Look, you know what? I don't. I mean, in some ways, I kind of like this idea. If Jeremiah is sent to a nation who are backsliding. Maybe I can learn about my own backsliding in it. I'm not saying that should be the focus, but at least according to one source, that's one of the key words. I mean, obviously Jeremiah uses the term more than anybody else. And clearly it's applied to a very specific situation. So look up every verse in Jeremiah that uses some variation, some form of backslide, backslide, backsliding, backslider, Gather all of those verses. See, you may look in a topical Bible or just anything else about backsliding that references things in Jeremiah, even if the word is not used. Look at all of that and then just kind of write out a basic idea of like who was the backsliders and what did they do and what can you learn about backsliding from it? And then email it to me, newsif at yahoo.com. Newsif at yahoo.com. That's newsif at yahoo.com. That is your today's focus for Friday, May the 26th, 2023, as we continue to prepare ourselves for the summer of Jeremiah and Lamentations. I hope you join us for the Bible study exercise. Even if you don't listen to that here in today's focus, you're probably going to have a lot of things that relate to Jeremiah, um, to Jeremiah probably mentioned over and over and over. All right. There you go. Have a great day. Have a great Memorial Day weekend. God bless.